It's the 90s kids show. <laughs> Welcome to the 90s. Welcome back to another episode of the 90s Kids Show. Taking a look back 20 years ago this month. And in this episode we focus on March 1994. Hey, we're going to take a look back and see what happened. Certain things that occurred. Whether entertainment, world news, and so forth. Let's begin. March 14th. The electronics company Apple Computer Inc. Released the first Power Macintosh the new Mac computers to use power PC microprocessors. This is a defining move in PC and Macintosh history. The Power Mac lineage would last for over 12 years as Apple's high-end products. March 23rd, the Green Ramp disaster occurred as two military aircraft collided over Pope Air Force Base in North Carolina. The wreckage of the F-16 punctured the fuel tanks in the C-141's right wing, causing a large fireball which combined with the F-16 wreckage and continued in a path taking it between Building 900 and the pack shed directly into an area where the massive army paratroopers were sitting and standing. 24 people died and over 80 were injured. Taking a look at music in March of 94, March 1st, popular grunge band Nirvana played their final concert in Munich, Germany. A few days later, lead singer Kurt Cobain lapses into a coma under pills and alcohol overdose. Later that month, uh, Cobain's wife, Courtney Love, calls the cops on Cobain out of fear that he's suicidal. The police confiscated multiple guns and boxes of ammo from Kurt Cobain's house. March 7th. Campbell vs. Akuf Rose Music Inc. The Supreme Court of the United States rules that parodies of an original work are generally covered by the doctrine of fair use. This copyright law established that a commercial parody can qualify as fair use. Making money off the parody does not render it impossible for fair use. It's just a part of a fair use analysis. The rap group 2 Live Crew recorded a song called Pretty Woman, included in their album As Clean As They Wanna Be. The song was a parody based on Roy Orbison's rock ballad, Oh Pretty Woman, from 1964. You guys might recognize it from the film from 1990 called Pretty Woman, starring Julia Roberts. Pretty woman, walking down the street, you know. March 13th, Selena drops her last Spanish album, Amor Prohibido. It became one of the top-selling Latin albums of all time and was nominated for a Grammy the following year. Taking a look at video games in 94 of March. March 19th, uh, Super Metroid was released for the Super Famicom in Japan. Considered one of the greatest games ever. Super Metroid's 24 megabit cartridge was also the biggest at the time. A Super Nintendo classic that featured unique 2D action-adventure platforming, immersive atmosphere, compelling music, and progressive storytelling. Super Metroid was also a victim of bad timing. Sales were disappointing, particularly in Japan, and put the franchise on hold for the next eight years. Taking a look at films, March 9th. British uh, romantic comedy Four Weddings and a Funeral became an unexpected success taking over 245 million at the box office. It was the highest grossing British film at the time. It would be nominated for Best Picture the following year. March 21st, the 66th Academy Awards was hosted by Whoopi Goldberg, held in uh, Los Angeles, California. Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List film, a dramatic Holocaust movie, wins seven Oscars including the Best Picture and the Best Director. Other winners include Jurassic Park for Best Visual Effects and Mrs. Doubtfire for Best Makeup. Tom Hanks took home the Best Actor for Philadelphia and Holly Hunter got Best Actress for her role in The Piano. 
Looking at sports from March 94, March 11, UFC 2 took place in Denver, Colorado featuring a 16-man tournament as the first and only time in UFC history. There were no weight limits or weight classes. The matches had no time limits, no rounds, or even judges. Hoist Gracie won four matches in the same night and took out Patrick Smith in the finals. It was attended by 2,000 people and a pay-per-view buy rate of 300,000. Taking a look at the pro wrestling world, March 20th, WrestleMania 10 was attended by over 18,000 people at Madison Square Garden, uh, New York. Owen Hart defeated his older brother Brett in a highly acclaimed opening match. Yokozuna defends his WWE title twice in the same night against Lex Luger and Brett the Hitman Hart. Ultimately, the Hitman taking the gold once again. Razor Ramon fights Shawn Michaels for the Intercontinental title in arguably the greatest ladder match of all time. Taking a look at famous births and deaths of March 94. March 1st, a Canadian singer, some of you might have heard of him, his name is Justin Bieber, was actually born, yes. He would go on to sell 15 million records and nominated for multiple awards including Grammys, AMAs, BET Award, Juno, Much Music, and MTV. A famous death in March. March 22nd, animator Walter Lance dies at the age of 94. His most famous creation, Woody Woodpecker, first appeared in 1940 and had its most recent series from 99 to 2002. Woody became one of the most recognizable cartoon characters in the golden age of animation. And he is mentioned alongside the likes of Bugs Bunny, Donald Duck, Popeye, and Mickey Mouse. Alright, so that's it for this episode of 90s Recap, 20 years ago this month, March 1994. And stay tuned next month for another episode. Till then, thanks for watching.